Hi everybody, I'm Jordan, and I've been working with computer vision for a long time. In this opportunity, I gonna analyze one of the scenes of the movie Minority Report, which is a slide five film directed by Steven Spielberg. Here it goes. <laughs> Mr. Yakamoto, welcome back to the Gap. Good evening. You can move the old-fashioned John Astin. During the scene, the main character is being recognized by a group of cameras that using biometrical personal identification based on iris patterns. In the first part, he uses his eyes to get into the elevator. Then a virtual image of a woman appears over a crystal display and tells him his full name. Intuitively, we can suppose that she has access to a great amount of information about him, taken from an extensive database that surely like this is an amazing computer on a virtual network. For now, I'm gonna focus our attention in these two parts of the scene. Well, the field doesn't explain the approach using the personal identification, but I tell you where it is possible. First of all, iris is a kind of physiological biometric signature. In addition, compared with other biometric features such as face or fingerprint, Iris patterns are more stable and reliable. It is unique to each person and stable with age. For the more, Iris recognition system can be non-invasive to the user. In other words, don't require contact with them. Now I gonna explain how it works. The first step of this system is the Iris image acquisition which is the most important and difficult step of the process. Because of the iris has a small size and dark color in the majority of the people. So it's necessary to create an appropriate device for its iris image acquisition, which can display a high quality image. The second step is image processing in which some irrelevant parts, such as eyelid, pupil, etc., are eliminated. There are some conditions that can disturb the image. For example, the brightness is not uniformly distributed, or the distance from the eye to camera, which affects the image size of the same eye. Hence, the original image needs to be processed. Usually, this process is composed by three steps. Iris localization. It is common to assume both the inner and outer boundary of a normal iris as circles. In order to detect the inner boundary, it is performed at thresholding, having into account that the pupil is much darker compared with the other part of the eye. The outer boundary presents more troubles due to the low contrast between the two sides of the boundary. However, it can be handled by means of the second derivative. The second step is iris normalization. This step is carried out to compensate the pupil deformation due to the variation of the brightness. Once the step one has been done, it's very easy to map the iris ring to a rectangular block of texture of a fixed size. The final step of the image processing is the enhancement. The image can be enhanced by means of local histogram equalization, which increases the contrast and the dynamic range of the image. When the processing stage has finished, the next step is the ID filter extraction, which extracts the important information of the normalized block of texture image. The most known methods are multi channel Gaber filtering and 2D wavelet transform. Both methods compute the same feature like the mean and the standard deviation of each output image after applying whatever of the previous transforms.
The final step is the iris identification, which compares the unknown iris with a set of known iris. So, we can conclude that aside from the field represent an easy scenario in 2054, in nowadays, there are many technological tools to implement this caption and identification system. So, there is a mixture of fiction and fun in this movie.